Okay, I want to talk to you guys about something that I call emotional recycling. And I don't mean that literally like we're recycling our emotions. I mean that uh, in the sense that when we recycle, we do it because we want to make the world a cleaner place, right? We're taking responsibility. And uh, that's what I mean. I mean doing that uh, with our stuff and being responsible and taking ownership for the way we treat others. Um, I think a lot of relationships expire because uh, people don't take responsibility for their stuff. So this conversation is about that and here's the thing. Uh, you know the guy that if you saw a guy, you're driving, you saw a guy uh, throw trash out the window like, um, like a bag of Wendy's, what would you think of that guy? You would think that he was uh, irresponsible, selfish, lazy, uh, you know, kind of disgusting, right? Because we live, uh, we all have to live on this planet, and he's contributing to polluting it. Uh, when you're not taking responsibility of your stuff, you're being that guy. Um, and it's very unattractive. It's, um, it shows your character, and it changes the chemistry. So... That's what's at stake, and that's why it's important to be responsible for your stuff, right? Now, if you're not, and and I admit that it's difficult to do because as people we are prideful, ego kicks in, um, arguments become a pissing contest, right? But if you're not, then no one wins, and there's a power in taking responsibility for your stuff, and the power is this, and this is what I think people don't realize. If you're in a debate with someone and you instantly take responsibility of your, your defects or of, of, of what, um, of hurting someone or, or something that you think that you've done wrong, it, 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 there's no argument. It diffuses the situation instantly. Uh, but more importantly, what it does is it encourages the other person to reflect on themselves. And that is the important piece. So emotional recycling is actually contagious. And if you think of it that way, I think it's... Uh, I that just sound like Jay Leno? If you think, uh, my voice goes up sometimes, high pitched. <sighs> anyway, so uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, it's the most powerful tool you have in getting someone to look at themselves. So what you do is, if you take responsibility for your own piece, it. What it, does, it sets into motion, um, and, and you know, the person might not admit it, the person, you might not see it right away, but you've planted a seed. Um, and then the other important piece about this is you're happy with yourself for uh, cleaning up your own mess. So, that is emotional recycling, and I hope we can all practice that, and I think if we all did it, everyone did it whether you're in a relationship or you are you know cutting people off or uh, I don't know cursing a stranger whatever you're doing that you should take responsibility for um, there would be a lot less pain in this world that is a fact